Welcome to my How Does It Work series, today's oxygen not included topic, hatch movement on land and in water. What is shown in this video applies to all hatches, so we'll use stone hatches to represent the adults and smooth hatchlings to represent the babies. Hatches can jump a one tile horizontal gap and can climb up two tiles high. This includes vertical doors without anything on top of them. Baby hatches can't do any of this. Both adults and babies can walk across all types of horizontal open doors and neither can climb diagonally up into the side one tile. When a door closes with a hatch inside and the tile below them is an open door or a pneumatic door, the hatch will be knocked down to a floor below. This will work for both horizontal and vertical doors and is most reliable when the door being closed is a pneumatic one. Another thing to point out is that when a hatch is standing in a door, they will get a confined debuff, which gives them minus 10 happiness. This happens whether the door is closed or open. For anywhere between 0 and 349 kilograms of water per tile, you can see the babies can't climb out of the puddles, the adults roam in and out of the puddles freely, and the adults will even stand in the puddles. When you change the water per tile to anything in between 351 kilograms and 949 kilograms, now the babies have stopped walking around and the adults refuse to stop in the water. The adults also refuse to go into the left puddle because there's nowhere to stand on the other side of the water. This means you can put eggs in a dead end puddle room between 351 and 949 kilograms of water per tile, let the eggs hatch, let the babies grow, and once they become an adult, they'll leave the egg room and never come back. When you have 951 or greater kilograms of water per tile, you'll notice that they all start drowning. The adults are hit and miss on if they hold their breath to cross, refuse to cross at all, or try to cross but end up turning around. Once we put enough water into the right puddle that it becomes two tiles deep, even if only in one spot by a few grams, they will completely refuse to run across. It is important to note that if a hatch is dropped into water it would drown in, or even a depth it just doesn't like to stand in, it will immediately exit the pool via the fastest route. Here you can see that hatches will walk through a water lock, but it is inconsistent unless the water lock uses less than 949 kilograms of water per tile in the top three blocks. The density of the bottom tile appears to be irrelevant since they jump over it. Now all that's left to do is confirm the adults die in 951 kilograms of water per tile like we learned the babies do. So while we wait, let's recap. The magic numbers are 350 and 950 kilograms of water per tile. I suggest going at least plus and minus one to ensure you get the desired effect. Above 350 you'll get your babies to stand still in the water and your adults to stay out of the water except for crossing to another place they can stand. At 950 you'll be able to drown them and start discouraging adults from being in the water at all. But if you absolutely want to make sure they stay out of the water, you'll need a depth of two tiles. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and get subscribed. Leave a comment down below with other topics you'd like to see covered, and if you see me on Reddit, say hello!